When you're trying to type in a small space or move a small object, one helpful tip is to zoom in on the slideshow. And once you have either typed what you're going to be typing or moved whatever image you're going to be moving, you can then zoom back out to fit the screen with the slide. Now we're going to look at a decimal division problem where your answer is not going to be a whole number. So we're going to start with 58 and 2 tenths and divide that by 1 and 2 tenths. Again, we want to make sure that our divisor is a whole number. So to make 1 and 2 tenths into a whole number, we need to increase it 10 times or move the decimal point to the right once. Whatever we do to our divisor, we need to also do to our dividend. So 58 and 2 tenths will increase 10 times to 582. Don't forget to bring the decimal point in your dividend straight up into your quotient. Then we're going to begin to divide just like we would with whole numbers. When you're finished dividing and you end up with a remainder, we could either stop there and write it as a remainder, but with decimal numbers, we can take a remainder and continue to make it a decimal answer. Since we don't have a digit to bring down in our dividend, we're going to add a digit. Now we don't want our dividend to change its value, so in order to have another digit but keep 582 worth the same amount, we're going to add a zero to the right of our decimal point. So it's still worth 582, but we now have a zero that we can bring down to continue dividing. And then we can divide 60 by 12, which is five, and then when we multiply that, we end up with an answer that no longer has a remainder. And our final answer is 48 and 5 tenths.